It's gonna be a hell of a night. Oh, it's gonna be a hell of a night. 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 Oh, it's gonna be one hell of a night. It's gonna be a hell of a night. When to remember. It's gonna be a hell of a night. Hello, YouTubers. It's me, Mimi. What's up? It's me. And, and this, this is, is us. Today, we're going to come to you with a question that was asked in our comments from Nay McKnight. And it is mothers and daughters opinion, agreement and disagreement when it comes to dating. Oh, my God. But here goes. So it's kind of a hard one because you... When, when teenagers, well, young ladies are so young, they think they know what they're looking for in a relationship. And so you're trying to yep. tell them, but they just be so blinded by, oh, he's so cute. Oh my God, he called me, he texted me. I mean, I mean so I don't, I don't, I mean, uh, I think. I think. Okay. That's what I think. Okay. Sometimes, not all the times, I think that parents take teenage relationships more serious than the teenagers. Hmm. We, we thinking more of fun. Y'all thinking, well, you need to watch this, you need to watch that. Even though you should. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying about, like, the phone calls and stuff like that. You don't need to answer this every call. You don't need to do this and you don't need to do that. But it's like, it's a mutual thing. Like, we call each other or... We just not thinking that serious into the relationship. It's kind of just like fun, some fun to do, like entertainment. It's not really like we just okay. trying to get married tomorrow or nothing like that. We just okay, 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 okay. But I, I mean, that, that comes with disagreement. Yeah. Because I'm thinking mm -hmm. if if y'all are dating, then I'm saying it's teenagers. I know, no, no, I know. I'm, that's what I'm saying. That that would be the disagreement because somebody older would be like, oh, okay, well, if y'all dating, y'all should be dating with potential mm -hmm. to be more than just hanging out, friends, and well, yeah. and and stuff like that. But I do understand. I think um, um, a young perspective. Teenagers just live in the moment. They don't think no further than that moment. Not all of them. Mm -hmm. I do. I think more than that mm -hmm. moment. But I'm just saying, as a teenager, you don't. When I was in high school, I didn't think as in what I would be doing right now at this age. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking of what I was doing at that age that mm -hmm. I was dating. Even yeah. though it took me a long time to start dating because I just wasn't interested in dating. Dating. I'm glad you said that because that in part somebody could have put what they wanted to put right there. What? Like I just wasn't interested in <laughs> Oh dating. <laughs> Boy oh, Okay. Okay. No but I wasn't really that interested or hype on trying to find a boyfriend or boys to talk to. That's good because you need to find yourself first. Okay. That's how you I'll get caught up and, and, mm -hmm. and, you know. But I do think parents should talk to their kids. And be more open. And be more open that way they won't shy away and not want to come to you and tell you things because they think you're judging them or jumping down their throat every time they come to you and tell you something about the person that they did. Mm -hmm. Which in some cases has been me. No, we're being honest. Let's be honest. Let's. I'm. 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 I'm, yeah. I'm cool with being honest. Which mm -hmm. in some cases has been me. And uh, in some cases I've been right. And um, some cases you've been wrong. Some cases <laughs> or overthinking. I. I don't think I've, you was wrong for feeling the way you feel because uh -huh. you have a right. I feel like when you birth the child, it's just a different feeling. Mm -hmm. So I feel like you have the right to protect what you birth, but. You was wrong in the way of assuming. Assuming instead of asking. Instead of like, asking. Oh, you know, why is this happening? Or why are you acting like this or that? Don't just mm -hmm. come off as, I feel like you act like this because of this person. Because mm -hmm. it could be my own reasons why I'm acting the way mm -hmm. I'm acting. You know? mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. But you definitely should love yourself first before you try to love somebody else. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And I think I, I think uh, kind of different when it comes uh, to young teenagers dating. Also, when it comes to uh, who paying. Although um, the one guy you did decide to date just happens to be a really good guy, mm -hmm. and and you know paid for stuff and all that, I think like if you're a teenage kid, you might not have a job. You know your parents may not have it, and so if y'all going, of course, um, as a our kids don't have a father, so now I gotta go back. 
Because I should say, of course, it's a father. You're going to mow your kids and be like, okay, you know, if you take the girl out on a yeah. day. You know, she had it with some, but now it's kind of crazy because mamas, are, well, moms, mothers, or whatever you call your mom, are teaching their girls to go get it. To go Not get it. it. And I don't it. feel like that. Yeah. I feel like if you're going to date with a little... 15, 16, 17 year old boy, he may not have a job. He probably struggling. His mom probably a single parent. Probably. I'm not saying it is. It just, I'm just saying it could be you don't know. Mm -hmm. but that's and I, he wants to date you. Communication so, comes in. Absolutely. absolutely. But who wants to say that? Who wants yeah, to say, but, oh, I, you know, I would like to take you out, but I don't have well, it. you would think, but nowadays, boys are more comfortable with telling you stuff. Okay. Than you would think. Okay. I mean, if they really like you, then yeah. they're more comfortable. But, yeah. you know, they have this label as in oh you know boys don't need to cry or mm -hmm, you know, all mm -hmm, that they mm -hmm. can't show their feelings to a girl because of whatever reasons they yeah. have but some boys are open so i feel like if you're open then we can work on it together yeah but i think, I think when you teach your daughter that um he have to give her something i think you're basically teaching her that she have to give him something because you can't expect for somebody to a one-sided relationship all the time. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He he may not want um, money from you, but he may be a active little boy. Mm -hmm. You know, boy as, you know. One to, you know, do things. Yes, do adult things. Yeah. So, he's wrong to ask you for that, but you have the right. That's why I never... Ask him for your money. I mean, you... He's wrong for asking you for that, but you always got your hand out for something. Yes. Yeah. I mean. Yes. I think, I, and I, don't get me wrong. I think a man should always be a man. I, mm -hmm. I really, truly feel like, but we're talking about young, Teenage. maybe still in college. Yeah. You know, don't have no money and you uh, pass up a good young man Nobody. because you're looking for somebody that can do something for you at that time. And a lot of times you're looking for somebody to bring something to the table and you don't even have the table. By the time we get to and, college... We need to have a goal. Of absolutely, absolutely. The high school stuff, that's that's just petty. Mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. But once you get to college, we, what, you, when you go to college, you're like 19, 20, mm -hmm. 21 and up. Mm -hmm. So by this time, you kind of looking for somebody to like, okay, if I talk to you, like, where are we going with this? Yes. Because, I mean, you should kind of put that out there in the beginning. If you don't want a relationship, mm -hmm. and you just want friends, or you just want a fun time, then you let them know that. Mm -hmm. But girls... At this age, we kind of ready for a relationship, kind of ready to yeah. go. Yeah. Route. Yeah. So, so your parents. What, what, do, you, what do you think is too early to be dating? What ages? Yeah. Honestly, in my opinion, be honest. Don't date in middle school at all. Mm -hmm. uh, freshman year, probably not. Uh, dang, I'm, I don't want to sound like I'm it's saying because it, it was me, but, nah, but that's, your junior because that's year, how you felt. Yeah. So other people have the right to feel the way it's your this junior overcoming. year. You kind of more not just all the way to mature, but you like you're older, mm -hmm. so you kind of know how to stand your own. You young when you're a freshman, you just now getting out of middle school. You don't mm -hmm. even know half of the stuff that the other people in the school probably know because mm -hmm. y'all not in the same environment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But how do you feel about a boy paying for um, being able to or not able to um, pay for the date? I'm just wondering. I'm, I'm speaking for my mother because I have three sons. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I feel like so, if he can pay for it, then mm -hmm. pay for it. Mm -hmm. And if he can't, then communicate it. And we're I agree. Good. I agree. It's really a relationship, is really communication. Mm -hmm. If you don't have that, you don't have nothing. Mm -hmm. Communication comes first, and everything else follows behind mm -hmm. it. So, or it could also be, you know, if you feel like at you at a certain age that you kind of want to date, then you maybe go get you a little job. You know, mm -hmm. uh, find you something, you know, to bring in a little income so you can ask her out on a mm -hmm. date or, uh, or something like that. But I, I don't think that you should teach your daughters to ask, be asking for. You know, it's not, are oh, you yeah. going to buy me? Are you going to, I mean, because mm -hmm. when he comes along and say, are oh, you going to do this? Then I don't think you should be offended. Yeah. And that's my opinion. But, hey. But, yeah. So, I feel like mothers and daughters clash sometimes because of their boyfriends. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's just because the the girl, the the daughter know what her mind is. You know mm -hmm. what you're doing. You know, well, not all the time do you know what you're doing. But I know you, you know y'all relationship. You talk to that person every day. So yeah. you know where y'all standards are. And your parents 
honestly, they really just looking out for, for what's best for you. Mm -hmm. Did I even say that right? Yeah. They looking for what's best for you. They don't mean no harm. It's not meant to push your boyfriend away or whatever the case, in some cases. Yeah. So I feel like you can take your mom's advice and a little bit of your own and mix it in together and Absolutely. still be your own person, but take in what somebody's saying for you and don't always think it's an attack against the person that you're dating all the time because it's not. But I feel like your parents going to be in your relationship yeah. no matter how old you get. Yeah. Even when you get 30 well, or 40. It's, it's never nothing personal um, with who you're dating. It's just my job as, as it is his or her parent mm -hmm. to tell them, you know, what they think is right or wrong. Or of course, you're not gonna tell an overgrown person, you know, about dating. But if it's the, um, you know, young and it, mm -hmm. to me, you're never too old to get your mother's advice. And like you said, I'm not, I may not follow everything that my mom told me, but mm -hmm. I took, you know, what she said that applied to me. Mm -hmm. Like you do anything, you take what applies to you. The risk, you know, if it's not. For you, yeah, if it's not for me, you know, you just kind of let it and go. And I feel like, um, if it's certain things your parents are not okay with or mm -hmm. with your relationship, then just don't do it around your parents, mm -hmm. just leave that for you and that person. Mm -hmm. Y'all do that in the private of whatever y'all got going on, yeah. But you know, if it's something your parents are not comfortable with or y'all didn't fell out about it a hundred times, you yeah. know, just limit yourself on what you're doing in front of yeah. your parents. As yeah. a teenager, yeah, you, and I think sometimes uh, uh, young men do get a get it kind of hard. But I, I know it's a, um, it's kind of hard to be something that you've never seen. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense, you know, um, even if they probably was with, you know, their moms, maybe they didn't treat their mom like that, or maybe mm -hmm. they didn't. But I know you know, yeah, what, you, you know, know. uh huh, yeah, yeah, so. We ain't playing no games over here. But yeah, so it's, it's kind of hard to be something that you, you've you never seen or never been taught. And you just kind of have to learn and be willing to learn and just, you know, pick up from other people. You kind of pick up on, pick up on your own by trial and error, yeah. you know. Y'all can time. help each other. Mm -hmm. You help him, he help you. Mm -hmm. and yeah, like I, I'm, I'm not perfect, nowhere near perfect. But at the end of the day, I want you to be better than anything I could ever be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, I feel like oh, I do. I, know. I do. You always say that. Yeah, and if I, I, I would take nothing in life for y'all to have everything in mm -hmm. life. You know, so that's just, this is a parent. You don't take it personal. Oh, you're trying to ruin my life, and you don't yeah. want me to date, and you don't, you don't want me to do this or do that. You know, it's not like that. It's never like that. It's just a parent. It's, yeah. I mean, to ask me to do anything different is to ask me not to be a parent, a parent, mm -hmm. or not to love you, or not to, you know, care. But yeah, but I always want to respect um, y'all situations, mm -hmm. and I, I want to be respected, and I want to respect y'all situation. You know, vice and, versa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, but that's that's just how we feel about it. Yeah, that's just our my honest opinion. Yeah. Um, about it, and if you come to me, you know, it, it's. But this is what I can say. It is hard to like, I'm not going to say love, because I love everybody. Like somebody that has hurt or is hurting your child. Mm -hmm. It's hard, but a lot of times the person that's being hurt don't understand that. Yeah. You know, they'll be like, well, well. It's like you got to be hurt. You got to let them be hurt so many times. Mm -hmm. And as a parent, that's probably hard to watch. It's, let me say something. But, um, yeah. Being in love hurt is almost worse than physical. And, mm -hmm. and, and and that's the truth. Sick, physical hurt. That that type of hurt is just... Um, it's no words to describe it. Really. None. <laughs> none. It's crushing. And I and you try to protect your kid from that. You know, like, mm -hmm. oh, you know, and or he or she. Or, and you try to protect from that. But, you know, that's, that's something that I don't think that can be prevented. Yeah, I feel like it's life. Cause it is. It's, it's different. It is. It's different ways to it get is. your heart broken. It's not always cheating no. or something no. like that. Like no. you. Love I don't even somebody. believe I'm in cheat. So what, <laughs> bro? What are you talking about, man? If you oh, I know I'm gonna get it for that. But if I don't you love somebody. I feel like if something go wrong in a relationship, y'all can't be together. That's gonna be a heartbreak too. Yeah. So it's not always about just you know cheating or. Yeah, I just I, I, my opinion is that all men don't cheat, all boys do.
That's my opinion. That sounds better. It did. Did it make sense though? <laughs> but yeah, so it makes sense. Mm -hmm. But I, I've always taught y'all that no matter what my opinion is, or you know, when y'all was at a younger age, you don't have to like what I'm saying. You have to respect it. Mm -hmm. And they go. So now the roles have returned. I don't have to like what you're doing or like who you're dating. I have to respect it. Mm -hmm. And so it is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. So. Would you marry a guy that me and your dad don't like? No. You wouldn't? No, because I feel like, because you know your parents. Mm -hmm. So I feel like if y'all don't like him, it's something I'm not seeing. So whenever he's not around me, I'm going to figure out what it is. Mm -hmm. I and I'm going to see for myself. Mm -hmm. Of course, you want to see for yourself. Or what oh, yeah, that's true. that's true. That's true. You know, because you just want to. That's just what you just gonna look for it. Yeah. And I just feel like if y'all don't like somebody, it's gotta be a good reason. So I'm not gonna marry that person knowing that them and my parents could never get along. Like that's just not something I want. I want my husband to be able to come into this family. We have a close family. I want him to be able to come into this family. Okay. And I don't I wouldn't want that. And I know y'all not just some people that's just out to get everybody that comes around. So it has to be a reason. Mm-hmm. And I couldn't be with somebody that had anything to do with um, coming between me and my kids. I would have to be done. I mean, it doesn't matter who it is to me, and I'm just being honest. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't got there yet. I know spiritually, you know how to go, but I haven't got there, you know, yet. So, mm -hmm. you know, so. It, and the person that I'm dating, I don't see what the problem would be with my parents because there's nothing to talk about. So Not, but it's, it's a respect level when, it is, when you're dating. But I know right. that I know I'm speaking for my parents. That, that's, no, that's what I'm saying. It's a yeah. respect level. I don't think uh, my my mom has liked everybody that we dated. But you can tell, like if we're all around, she kind of respected. But you, mm -hmm. you you pretty much know, like if she didn't like somebody, and that's okay. That's my that's my mama that's at the end I'm of saying, the day. Like, because I always thought that temporary things cannot replace permanent things. Mm -hmm. Of course, you don't say okay, well. Uh, me and you gonna date and one day we plan on breaking up no we don't plan on but if we do that's still my mom yeah and that's still my daddy mm -hmm. you know that's still my brother my but sister that's even how i feel about friends though mm -hmm. when you dating someone and they have friends that they've been knowing for years mm -hmm. that's never done anything to you i don't think you should come between them and their friends well, uh, yeah, that's opinion. You know, we good. i mean i don't know your opinion about everything yeah unless you want to talk about it. no yeah, I know her, all her things. We talk about the time about stuff like this. So that's true. Yeah, that's true. We're we pretty, just want to get we're pretty open. Yeah. yeah. So well, we hope you liked that video. That's just um, a snippet of all the conversations and things yeah. we have talked about and discussions that we've had, and uh, we've agreed, we've disagreed, we've um, cried. We've, everything you name it yeah yeah you name it and so i've went to her um when something has broken my heart she's been to me when something's broken my heart so we kind of it's weird mm -hmm. yeah. we've been almost the old twin there for each other yeah yeah and i'm the only daughter so that's true for the people that don't know that's true only daughter, so. that's true and although we have a friendly friendship I'm her mom, and she always respect me as that. And she's my daughter, and I always respect her as that. And so. She always say, as long as you respect me in my presence, what you do outside of my presence has nothing to do with me. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. Mm -hmm. Because You always say that. Yeah. Yeah, because, you, I mean, I would do that right now. And I'm like 46. I oh, know. If my mama tell me something, I'd be like, okay, or yes, ma'am, or such and such. Uh, then, and I go right out the door and... Um, do whatever you want to do. Either take that advice or do the opposite. But in her presence, I respected how mm -hmm. she felt. You know, and so... And she probably know that. She probably like, oh, you know, I already know I already know she's not going to do it. Yeah. Gonna, you know, she, but at least... 
Yeah. You but I think that's why God has always blessed me. Mm -hmm. I've always respected her. Like, I mean, I'm, of course, I'm going to speak up for myself. I'm like, no, um, you know, but yeah, that don't make something like that. But I'm going to always be respectful. And if I raise my voice too high, I'm going to call her and say, you know, Maria, that conversation we had earlier, I feel like my tone's too high. She was like, I wasn't thinking about that. Thinking about that. And I'd be like, yeah, she but I, mm -hmm. you know, but I felt like my tone mm -hmm. was inappropriate. And so I just always have fixed it when it comes to her. Um, I just don't play about my, and I believe that's why I've always been blessed and favored when it comes to a lot of things. I've always honored her and my dad. Yeah. Yeah. When he, you know, when he was there, I've always honored him. But oh, okay. So I really had kind of forgot <laughs> that we was here. I was kind of going woo, way over there. But yeah. So we hope that you enjoyed this video. This is our honest, true opinion. This is only our second opinion, and what we want to just be original. Like, don't make nothing up just talk like we normally talk mm -hmm. actually so we hope that you like it please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you and also um when we get to our first 100 subscribers we're going to be giving out a gift card so make sure uh you comment your name if you are already um subscribe uh -huh. if you've already subscribed name. go ahead comment your name uh below and we'll put you in a drawing. And once we reach 100 people, we will send you a gift card. The only thing that we're asking is that um, you post it. You know, go to our Facebook page, post it that we kept our word. Yeah. You know, because we don't want it to be like it's some type of gimmick or something. Mm -hmm. You know, something like that. You know, we want you all to continue to come to our channel. We want you to continue to enjoy our channel. And our next... Um, we have new challenges. We, yes, 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 yes. So yes. that's a surprise. Yes. We have a lot of new challenges that we're going to do. Yes. And, and so we're just getting used to this, getting used to the vibe of just recording ourselves, looking at ourselves can be weird, but we, we're we getting it. So just uh, hang on in there. If you have any friends, you know, or um, like, Think they may like us. Help you subscribe to our channel. We don't have a problem, you know, uh, with showing the uh, returning the favor and showing support. If you have a channel, uh, put it down in the comments. We'll you go subscribe. and we'll go like, share, and you know, you know, yeah, subscribe to your channel. Also, you know, it's it's more than enough um, uh, space I on YouTube you. for all of us. You know, so if you have a channel, you create a channel, you new. Um, if it, anything that we can help you with and tell you, you know, because we, we learn about trial and error. And so if, it, if, if there's anything we can help you with, we're willing to help you um, share with you whatever it is. So, again, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Yes. So, I'm okay. Well, that's it for our video. We hope you really enjoyed it again, as we said. I'm Mimi. What's up? I'm me. And don't, don't forget, forget to, to blossom.